ratchet sometimes. Yeah, you have to. You got to. I just want to look full ratchet. I come look. Nah, yeah. I know you are. Full ratchet. Oh. John Healy TV, Brittany Rose from Live 101.5 CBS Radio, here with one of the absolute greatest to ever do it. Absol, how are you doing? That's great. <laughs> All right, so you've been traveling a lot. You are on these days tour right now. It's your first ever headlining tour ever. How has it been going? Excellent. 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 I just finished a meet and greet. A lot of, a lot of cool people out there. Uh, the love has been great. It's just excellent. Mm -hmm. And has anything crazy happened lately? Uh, I mean, crazy shit happens all of the time. Uh, uh -huh. I can't really think of anything in particular, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just can't remember what I did last night exactly, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you came from, you know, uh, long-term mentality, uh, yes. control system, these mm -hmm. days you know it's everything in between, everything before. Um, what is in the works currently with your timeless music you have? Uh, well, of course, like, like you say, you know, this is my very first headline tour, the These Days mm -hmm. tour. Uh, so, uh, just as I do with, I want to treat, I want to give it the same attention that I give all of my work. You know, I was, uh, I mean, I, I'm still performing Control System records to this day. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's about two years old. So, hopefully these days will have that same type of feel as time as time goes on. Yeah, and yeah. long term. I think it's heavy. I think it's pretty heavy. Yeah, long term three. Yeah, for sure. Speak on that. Can you speak a little, elaborate on that just a little bit? I mean, you know, it's coming. You know, uh, you know, if long term three is is supposed to be my take on the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Mm -hmm. So until I, you know, feel rich and famous, really, you know, I, I can't, I can't, you know, start on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, like I, I've, I've, I've let, I've made that known. Throughout my career, you know, there's four. It's four parts to the long term series. Yes. Long term mentality is not in the series. No. It's kind of like you that. have one, two, and, and one, one and two only out. Yeah. Those are my first two mixtapes. Long term mentality was the first uh, project that I sold. Mm -hmm. Then we had Control System, and then uh, now we have these days. So long term three and four. Long term three it, it was also supposed to be my debut album. Yes. The album that's in stores, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like even these days, it's just all digital. Or like you can get a, like a copy from our website. So you actually want to have that one in the Best Buy rack? Yeah, Long gotcha. Term 3 has to be the first one packaged. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to go into a little thing I like to call Brittany Rose Expose. I am about to expose <laughs> Absol. Are you ready for it? Yes. All right, perfect. <laughs> Give me the details on the very first song you ever wrote. And I believe you were 12. Yes. It was over that uh, twist of emotions. Twist is emotions. Now, what was said when you were writing? What did you write about? I said something like, I aim for the fame. Where was your game? You see that girl over there? She was screaming my name. I hit it right all night. She was called a snap G. So I blazed a fat one for the homies and me. Hey. So I was 12. I wasn't smoke blazing a fat one. I aimed for the fame. Where was that? That's, uh -huh. was, that's crazy. So I think that was more so just trying to rhyme words. I was trying to kind of maybe make, mimic Twister to yeah. the best of my ability. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Very thing. dope. All right. Uh, tell me one thing that no one knows about Soul. My life is like an open book. That's true. I, I think I've I don't think I've left too much out. Well, I mean my my lips are my lips aren't chapped. I understand. I know. Like, could you like feel them for the record? Like, to, like yeah. I I have the soft. My lips are softer than yours. Oh, they are. So that's what maybe that's something that the world may not know. That's exactly. very true. They're very soft, by the way. Yeah. All right. Uh, the year two thousand one. What comes to mind? I believe you were about fourteen then. Two thousand. Two thousand what? Two thousand one. Ain't that when um. Ain't that the, when the Twin Towers dropped? Yes. When the Blueprint came out? Yes. Oh, yeah. Jay-Z, what's that up? That was a crazy year. Very crazy. All right, who is the most inspiring woman today? Today? Mm-hmm. Oh, Oprah. Oprah? Why Oprah? Man, that's that man. That's, she's that's, dope. She's, she's, that's <laughs> for real. That's she's so paid. So Did you get with Oprah? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I think, yeah, I give, yeah, I give it a shot. Yeah. All right. <laughs> At age 87 years old, where do you see yourself and what do you want to be doing? Paint that picture for me visually. I'm just trying to be on the yacht. 
you know, you, with the linen shorts, no drawers on, sagging, you know what I'm saying? You know, with the caviar, you know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> that was a beautiful picture, by the right. way. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. Um, one last thing for every young person out there watching. What are some words of wisdom that you would like to tell them? Um, just have some fun, guys. Just have some fun, guys. That's it. Smile. Have Be some happy. fun. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. All right. That's going to wrap it up, Absol. Thank you. Solo ho. So long.